Hello and welcome. Today we're taking a look at Venture Journey to Carpathia. It's been developed by Carpathian Games. Uh, it is in development, as a matter of fact. This is a demo they have over on the itch.io page that we can check out. Uh, what's going on here is it's very board game-like, and you'll see it's very, very Catan-like. It's like they took Catan as a base and sort of expanded on that idea. Uh, and rather than, than sheep and wood, well, there is sheep and wood, but we're going to be building um, like towns and, and uh, upgrading those towns. And I guess in future releases, going to combat and spells and, and, and exploring. All that's supposed to be in here, I guess, at some point. But right now, it's a kind of a basic version, but something I think worth checking out. So let's do that. Uh, I'll have a link below if you want to check this thing out. But first off, we have to choose our uh, our faction. We can be the Blacksmith Fold, who I guess they get better. Um, so let me explain real quick what we're doing. Um, like Catan, if you know if you know Settlers of Catan, you go out, you build on a certain resource node, essentially, and if your town is there, you get those resources. And depending on who we pick, we get better resources from that node. So we can be the farm folks, the woodworker folk, the masonry folk, or the blacksmith folk. Uh, we'll go blacksmiths, I guess. And let's begin. So I know what I'm doing here with the, the uh, tutorial. I already played a, bi a bit of this, and so let me explain. Um... Random map each time, but we are here in the middle. There's my my little house. It's a level one house. The town of Frostford, they call it. Uh, we can build great halls. We can build walls, markets, warehouses, brick encampments, which helps uh, increase the the uh, the surrounding uh, resource nodes. We've got bricks, bricks, and wood nearby. So every turn, you can see up here, we're going to get bricks, wood, and some gold. These are resources down this way. We use those resources to buy things. Uh, one thing we can buy immediately is a Venturer. And this is basically a scout caravan, whatever you want to call it. And we send him out. He can also go out and, and build towns as well. A settler, maybe a better idea, better uh, better word for it. Um, uh, all, all these resources down here are on the map as well. There's food spots. There's uh, there's brick spots, of course, we have. There is iron in the mountains. There's, uh, there's some magic nodes, which, interestingly, they're all three together this time. It's randomly generated. Um, and what else we have over here? Is that everything? I feel like I'm missing something. Uh, oh, furs. Right, right. Furs. Or leather. Over here where the sheep are. So it'd be really nice to have, um, a food sheep spot. Actually, this spot right here would be really nice. Um, that one or over this way. Where's my opponents at? Let's see. We got no one to the south. We have a guy over here to the, uh, to the east and, and the other two are up north here. I think what we're gonna do... Uh, by the way, the goal of the game also is to get number of points within 50 turns. I have one point right now because I have a level one Great Hall. Every time I build something, uh, like a warehouse or whatever, it gives me an extra point. These are my resources, these are my gold I have in my pocket. And that's really all there is to it. So turn one, we're going to build ourselves a Venturer, and we're going to put him here. Next turn we can move him, and and, uh, and he'll do the job. He also picks up some resources that are nearby. He's a little blinky right now. Uh, old Razor's watch. Um, <laughs> I thought it was a wrath. Um, He's going to get me five bricks and ten wood just because of where he's at uh, next turn. But I'm going to move him, so don't worry about that. And uh, that's really all we can do. We can do a couple bits of upgrading. We can upgrade the market, for instance, which allows us to buy and sell things uh, right over here. And and you can go in and, you know, sell my bricks. Bricks for uh, for magic, you know, whatever. Um, the game is it's still pretty early days. I'll pass my turn here. Um, and... There's, I've been reading through the itch page, there's mentions of combat, there is magic obviously in the game, there's no use for it here, we can like cast spells it says, uh, they're planning on having additional continents and sailing, which I think is rather intriguing, and so I thought it was worth showing off here for, uh, for old free games month. Um, now, next turn, uh, you may notice there's some weather patterns, maybe, um, uh, well, I don't see any, sometimes there's weather. Um, there isn't any this time. Sometimes there's weather, and basically what that does is it's it's like the robber in Catan. If you know what Catan is, um, I apologize, I'm going to reference it a bunch here, um, but it, it's a board game. And uh, that, that node is unavailable when it's raining or on fire or whatever, but the next turn it gets better. Uh, get extra stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and move my guy. I'm going to move him over this way. I think I'm going to work my way. This will be an okay spot over here also. Right over here. There's no need for magic right now in this this version of the game. There's no use for it. Uh, I think I mentioned that. But I'm going to come down this way and get... I think I'm going to go here, I think. And I'm going to grab... Actually, I could put one there and there. And I could get... Hmm, which one's better? I don't know. Let's just put one there, because that's a good spot. We got, we got wood coming in. We got plenty of bricks. 
This will get me food and sheep. We can put another town up this way or something to get the wood and, you know, all that. So let's go work our way down there and see if we can get... Actually, I may just stop off. I don't know. We'll figure it out when we get there. Um, I, I think what I'm going to do... You can build walls protecting its attacks, but there's no attacks in the game yet. Um, but we can come with the market here and, and buy some things if you want. Like, I got a lot of bricks already, and I'm going to be getting 38 more, so I don't want to go and waste them. So I might as well squander them on something. I'll just put them into... Uh, some ore, I guess, because I won't be getting ore anytime soon. So we'll we'll put in. Whoops, wrong way. We'll put in seventy-five bricks. It will get we'll get forty-five ore. Sure. There we go. Um, so you know, just to not go over with that. Pass the turn. Um, and we can zoom in like really close here if we want. You know, I'm not sure why you would, but it does look pretty. We we got we just cashed in on those. This guy cashed in a little bit because he was here. He got us a bit of wood uh, here in woodland. We're going to move him to one more spot and move him down on this way. It might be ideal, actually, to go ahead and work on another adventurer, which is going to cost me 50 wood and 65 hides. So maybe I should work on getting hides instead of squandering it on iron. So uh, let's do that. So let's go to the market. And I don't need bricks so much, so let's go and buy some hides. I'll give you 75 hides. 75, if I, if I upgrade my market, which I just did earlier, I can do more of this. 75 is my max. Uh, so I'll get 45 hides out of that. I'll take it. What do we need for adventurer? 65, okay. Next turn, we get another one. Perfect. You can see they're doing the same thing. They got the ventures out. There's some, some rain over here on the hides. Um, they got a good food spot. But yeah, they're all pretty much doing the same thing. They're just sort of sending their caravans out or whatever they call them. Ventures. To go find some good spots to call uh, to call a new town. And uh, um, I could stop here and just pick up that stuff. I think I'm going to I'm gonna just go for it. I don't know. <laughs> I can't decide. Um, maybe we'll just stop there. You know what? It's fine. Let's just stop there. Um, we'll establish a village as soon as we can. I don't have any food, though. I need 30 food and all that stuff to build a village. So we'll have to get a few things up and run in here before we can do that. Um, so I will go ahead and keep on moving them. Since I don't have the, the, uh, the ability to do it anyway. So let's move them on down this way. Um, I guess ideally, you know, early towns and then so we could, we could sort of work our way down here. But since I can't afford it yet anyway, let's not worry about it. Uh, I will go ahead and put in my wood and sell off wood for leather, I think is what I want, right? There we go. So now I should have enough, actually, for another adventurer. Don't I? I do. Uh, yeah, let's throw one guy in. Um, hmm. I'll send him down this way, too, I think. However, if we want to cut off the, uh, the AI, it might be worthwhile to go, like, right there. Let's do that. Uh, next turn. And you can see what they're doing over here. They've gained a point. Um, a couple of them have probably building. You can see what they're doing here. They're, they're um, oh, oh, they built a town. There you go. Some of them are upgrading their warehouses. Uh, if When we get 10 gold, which we just did, we can go ahead and upgrade our camps. Like we can say, upgrade a lumber camp. Right now we're bringing in 20 lumber, but now we will bring in with 10 gold, 30 lumber. Because that camp has been upgraded. And you can see the town upgrades. It's quite nice. Quite nice. Uh, you go ahead and move, buddy. I'm going to move you up this way. And I'm going to send you on down, which I can almost... I need more wood, more food for you. Let's head on down this way. And let's go and buy... Brick off, uh, brick off some things for food. I don't need that much, but oh well. It's not going to hurt anything. And then I think... Let me think here. I think, let me think. I think we're going to just go ahead and set off... Actually, I may just put them there. Next one can go down here. Yeah. Let's just do that. So I think I have the resources for this now, don't I? I need 30... Oh, I, I need 30 hides. So let's sell some wood. And we'll just pick up some hides. I'm going to have 45 left over. That's plenty, I think. Something like that. So there's plenty of resources. So we can go ahead and go here. Establish a new village. we got the town of, of, of Razor's Watch uh, right here. And now it's going to bring me in some new resources. The whole new thing starts over. We get great halls, well, uh, walls, markets. All that stuff can be upgraded here as well. Um, and of course we can upgrade the, like, the grain encampments, which we should do first, as soon as we get some cash. Uh, which I could sell things at the market if I wanted to dump off my, uh, my bricks, which I don't need all those bricks. Let's dump them off and get a couple cash. Three coins? Sure. Coins are expensive, apparently. Um, and this guy, I believe... Um, let's see, we don't... We're gonna get ore in a minute. No, we're not. We stopped there. So let's go ahead and stop off double ore in the bricks, or do we go to brick or food? It does seem better to have a little bit of everything, doesn't it? Let's do that. 
little more of everything, I should say. We've got lots of bricks coming in next turn. These things are numbered. The numbers here are just sort of representing what they are, um, like their 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 name. So if we come in here, we can see, like, brick encampment number 18 is essentially what it's trying to tell me here. I don't know why there's two 19s. I didn't quite understand that. Doesn't make any sense to me. There's two 12s there. What's that mean? I don't know. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and build another village. We got the resources for it. Let's do it at Langer Coast. Langer Coast. Langer Coast here right smack in the very center of the island. <laughs> Perfect name. Um, and I want to get some more coins. Let's see if we can sell something to get a couple coins. And get maybe some extra grain or some ore. So let's go ahead and... Actually, I could use another uh, one of... Oh, I need sheep. I need sheep. I need sheep badly. We got sheep down here. Leather, leather, we need that. So, let's get one more gold coin real quick. I'll drop off, what do we got extras of? A little extra ore, uh, sort of, we just bought all that stuff. We got a little extra wood, we're making that just fine. Uh, I need that for, for other things. Let's go and drop off some ore then. I just want to get, just one coin's all I need, right? What's it? It's, it's, um, 14 for one coin. Okay, I'll do it, so then I can come in here into this guy and buy... The leather one. There we go. We need the leather for these guys. 97 leather now and 75 wood to make one of those. So, you know. We'll focus on that. Hey, look, we're in Lee. Five. I'm at six points. Oh, not anymore. I played through about 25 turns. It takes a little while to get through this thing. It's a long game. And uh, I, um, I, had, I just got to the point of building a Great Hall level two at one of my towns. Uh, it starts getting me. It sort really starts escalating, right? You get gold coming in, you can start upgrading all your encampments, and the points just start sort of rolling in a, a, after a while. Uh, now this this forest is it's raining there, which means I don't get. Um, well, I say I don't get it. I guess I do get thirty. I thought I didn't get thirty there, but oh well, I guess I do. That guy's on fire. I thought I didn't get resources, and the next turn I got double. I thought, I thought that's what the tutorial said. Oh well. Um, Okay, let's uh, let's focus on getting another venture. I think is the uh, is the next goal. So we need to get wood and leather, which we're bringing in a little bit of leather, but not a lot. We're bringing what nineteen per turn. It's gonna take a little while. Um, so we could probably dump off some bricks. We don't need all these bricks that we've got. So let's sell some bricks. Um, it seems to be the market is is a, a big factor here. Drop off some bricks and we'll buy some hides. Let's get rid of all of them. It's fine. Okay. Um, over the other tabs we have over here, we have military, which isn't in the demo yet. We have sorcery, which is not in the demo yet, which we use magic for. Uh, and we have a guild report also. There's a lot of things that aren't here yet. It's pretty early. Um, let's go ahead and pass that now. And the masonry union has, been, has upgraded their warehouse. Uh, woodworkers have upgraded their market. Farm setters built a venture. And um, what do we need for that guy? 75 wood. We're almost there. And the hides. Oh, we, we could probably get there. We can dump off a bit of ore and get it. Dump off some ore and pick up a little bit of wood. I need, what, 75 of it? Is that what it said? There we go. All right. 75 and 97 hides. So let's sell more of that ore. 97. There we go. Okay. So I will build a venture. Now where's he going to go? I think he's going to go. That's a good spot. Um, I mean, any of these places are, are... I mean, you can't have too many. What is that? Bricks. Um, we could probably use... Actually, you know what? Maybe like right in, in here. We've already got two brick guys, or three brick spots. Maybe like right over here. Let's, let's stop them in right there. And we'll move them over here. Uh, either this one or this one. To get uh, get some more, more leather in here. And, you know, you could always like go with, I guess, the, the market route... And just go all in on something like the bricks and then just trade it every turn and, and make some cash that way. This guy's coming to my, into my territory. Get out of my land, buddy. It's miles. Okay, I want you to move and go this way. And I've got a lot of bricks. What can you upgrade? Oh, I got coins. I should use those. Let me get a bit more iron. And maybe what we should do is just start selling this stuff off. It's just. Gold coins are, like, so hard to... I mean, look, what, what's it? Five coins for... 67... Brick. I'll do it. That's going to be one more thing, though. Um, 
let's put it down here on the the grain. There we go. Uh, to go one more, I have to go and upgrade the Great Hall. Uh, and each of these places can have a Great Hall upgrade. And you can see Great Halls are expensive. It's 250 each of these things. And I can't even hold that. I have to get bigger markets before we can... Or bigger uh, warehouses before we can do that. Uh, I need a bit more wood before we can do that one. And that's about it. There's not much more to the game yet. Um, but you get an idea of what's going on here. And I, I'm just curious about how... I'm intrigued about what happened with multiple islands. And sorcery and fighting... We'll see how interesting how how that mechanic would play out. I think I'm just gonna hang out right here. Yeah, seems like a nice place. Old Harmstead. Hey Harmstead, why don't you build me a market? Thank you. That upgrades all my uh, my max uh, stockpiles up to 200 now. Each of these towns can build one of these things. Uh, well, if we had resources for it, so we could go pretty high with with that. Uh, one more coin will get me another thing. Um, I could trade away and probably get that one coin real quick. Like we'll drop some bricks and we just want one coin. Like that. Okay, one coin. And I will let you get me uh, more bricks. Let's do bricks. We can sell those things. Okay, and there we go. We're in the lead. But we're going to call it a day here. So this is um, Journey to Carpathia. Or Venture. Journey to Carpathia. And I'll put a link below. It's on itch.io. And uh, it's a free little demo you can, you can check out. Oh, by the way, you can spin the camera around. Very exciting. And you can zoom in pretty far. Just for looks, and uh, and you can see things things grow as as uh, as we get to building. Anybody build anything fancy? I want to see uh, any of you guys real big. No, not really. What have you got? You have like a oh, you got some walls. Oh yeah, nice, nice. Um, the demo has you or the tutorial has you build walls, but there's no fighting in the game yet, so there's no point in having walls. But you can see if we here let's, let's see what happens. But I didn't put anything in. I want to see it. Let's put in a wall. There we go. Much better. It's got the shakes. Okay, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.